actually doing anything. Like we're, this is being recorded. Oh, for sure. So, you know, we're in the danger now. zone. Right. So, like whatever you say right now can be used against you, um, in the court of law. In a, in a court of public opinion. Did you guys have yeah. like a really bad teacher before? No, like in school, everyone's no, had every, what? No, no, but like, what, what, what was, was like a scenario in school that you were like, "Wow, that teacher did that to me." Not the bad teacher, but like, what did she do to you? Okay, so him? to be, if we're going there, if it we're going her, there, obviously for me, because like I was, I didn't even think of him. If we're going there, second grade, uh, yeah, my yeah, a substitute teacher uh, wouldn't let me go to the bathroom. Yep. So in return, I went to the bathroom uh, in, in the my class. pants. Yep, good job. Yeah. That's the way to so, do it. That's, that'll show her. It. Yeah, it yeah. did. Didn't and it, it did. And it smelled because it wasn't a one. It was a two, bro. <laughs> oh, so yeah. Very lead, very wow. lead. That's You're welcome. Lead. You're welcome. Welcome to the podcast, by the way. Oh, wait, you had a payoff. Did you have a payoff for that? No, I, I had a math teacher that said I was average. Oh. I said, I said how mean. <laughs> oh, Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Was, was a math teacher that wrong though? Like that's a good call. No, I was average at math for multiple years. No, that was. That I was. was, was that I, I would have been her? thrilled yeah, with I, average. I, I guess I did. Yeah, you I do been... analytics now, teacher. Like she's like, no, you don't. No, no, no. No. <laughs> on sports. Yeah, she didn't say like, you're average at sports. It's true. She did. It. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, now that we've got the cheesy joke out of the way, it's another fantasy hey. football show yeah. presented by Sports Injury Central. We are back week two. We've seen it all. We've seen it all in week two, and uh, and we're going to look forward to, obviously, week three. But before we get into that, there's obviously, uh, again, I say this every week. I feel like we should have an in memoriam for the people who have been injured in week two. Obviously, we we know some big I ones. I just don't like that because, like, death and injury is a very – there's, like, a difference. So it's a big difference. Like, okay. Huge. Yeah. Okay. So memoriam – for like your the queen, fantasy the queen football isn't season. The queen isn't injured right now, right? Mm, okay. No, I don't think she is. I mean – Okay. Yeah, I, I would say that's that. not an injury. If anything, it's the opposite. <laughs> I was uh, testing you guys. See how good you, you guys are being good. good yes, we're trying to tiptoe around this bomb you just placed in the middle of our <laughs> of our podcast. But no, uh, we'll start it off. We'll do the injury rundown. Uh, obviously, the big names from week two, and then we'll get into our dudes and duds. Uh, obviously, we love we love love our dudes and duds. But Jacob, what what the heck happened in week two, and uh, and where do we go from here? Yeah, other than uh, Trey Lance, not a huge fantasy injury week. I mean, Trey Lance, obviously the biggest one foot face in the wrong direction, done for the season. But Jimmy G steps right back in the saddle. So we'll touch on a little later how that affects Kittle, how that affects the run game, all that stuff. But Jerry Judy, I think, is the biggest one hanging over into week three. Um, sternoclavicular joint injury. Wow. SC oh, joint. Bravo. Ooh, nailed that. I, bravo, I man. That was times. good. Good job. You know what? You, in, the mirror, said, in the mirror. If you we say said, three <laughs> times in the mirror, it, you actually get the injury. <laughs> right. We said we were yeah. going to go SC, and uh, and you you said, no, I'm going I'm I'm to grab the bull by the horns yeah, yeah. and just say it all, all the syllables. Or by no, the SC nice. joint. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. Sure. So I went out with a shoulder injury. The team termed it. Um, eventually said ribs and ends up becoming chest. So that's, that's right where that joint is, the SC joint. Um, not as bad as Tyreek Hills two years ago, I believe it was, maybe three. Uh, he missed four weeks. Uh, our pro football docs project Judy's probably going to be out this week, maybe next week, but um, chance to play uh, in a week from now. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Obviously, Cortland Sutton, Cortland Sutton is the big uh, upgrade if he doesn't play. That was the easier one to say. That was the yeah. easier one, yeah, you know? That's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, Russell Wilson. What's going on with the Broncos? I know Taylor's got a lot of thoughts. I don't want anything wrong with them because I have probably every single Russell Wilson, Cortland Sutton stack known to man. But um, I, I hope it. I, I read something uh, Solak uh, released on the Ringer that they got Hackett as the bait Rogers to come, and then they didn't get Rogers, so they're like, oh no. I mean, they did replace. They got another elite quarterback, but I don't think they had the system in place for him because, like, that's the one thing Geno's doing right now. He's playing like a uh, college offense, like little like play action, dump it off to like 80 different tight ends, like Colby mm. Parkinson, Will Disley, every, you know, uh, fan, you know, so I don't think the offense is built. I mean, they, they might learn on the fly. That's why I don't think it's like, oh, no, but like this is a bad start and it was probably in the cards already, like hiddenly. Like, obviously, we didn't know, but I didn't think it would be this bad either. Like they start off the season against the Seahawks and the Houston Texans. Like you would think, up points you, on him? Yeah. you would think that would be like you were riding into the sunset to start his Broncos, um, you know, reign, right? But um, that's right, not the case. Yeah, well, yeah, right. they're they're definitely riding there. Uh, <laughs> real quick, while we're on that, I mean, yes. are you? So you're telling me Hackett can't uh, <clears throat> hack yeah. it? Yeah, Jacob said this joke to me like nine different times. <laughs> they can't <already>. stop, bro. <laughs> yeah, we're on no, fire. I, I think there there there's not there's probably not a lot that you're seeing right now that can 
right to ship, but I think it's there because the talent's there. It's not you're like, oh, new system, like Nagy in his third year, let him figure out fields. No, fields he can't. There's tools it's there. Hard. I mean, yeah. Javante Williams, yes. Melvin Gordon, like they, they there, just need to learn how to use them. And then once Judy comes back, use him and Court and Sutton, there's Albert a reason. O, a little bit more involved every week. Well, there's a reason why their over under was 10 and a half start the year, which is one of the highest ones start the year. They're supposed to be one of the top teams in the league. They have the team, like you said, built for that. So, so all right, before they got to figure out some stuff. Before we move on from the Broncos, one last thing I just wanted to touch on. Fantasy wise, like, yeah, they look bad, but fantasy wise, who are you disappointed with? Cortland Sutton's seemingly been, been pretty fine. fine. No, Sutton's been, uh, yeah, he's been like yeah. not, yeah, yeah, he's not feeling any of this uh, stuff in the media. That's why I think it will right ship. The only thing I, like you said, the Judy issue becomes a cluster injury with Tim Patrick and Handler dealing with him stuff, his stuff. So, like, they, it's definitely Sutton or nothing. Yeah. But I think they'll figure it out. Like I said, they, they can lean on a run game. You know, they, they just, like I said, it's, it seems like it was not built correctly in the back end, like, because the pieces are there. We'll get to it in our dudes and duds. But uh, moving on, we're tracking uh, Dalton Schultz, right knee injury. Uh, our docs believe it's a PCL strain. Um, depending on severity, could miss this week. Uh, they play Monday against the Giants. So we'll have to see uh, in the coming days of the practice injury reports. Uh, James Connors' ankle is a big one as well. Um, minor left ankle inversion sprain is what uh, the doc saw on video. So but good chance he suits up this week, but definitely even on Eno Benjamin. Yeah, that's the one I like. Schultz is like whatever. Like they're tight ends in the back end. They're just blocking. They're, Cooper Rush will just find whoever is that he can. I think Eno Benjamin is. They've been waiting for this. He's not like a new guy. He's been in the system for a couple of years. He's very young. He's had um he had a big workload in college. So I think yeah, this is a time if he needs to do it. They they would they'll be perfectly fine. Doing I mean, they were fine getting rid of Chase Edmonds, right? They didn't they because weren't... of him. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So do so do we think James Conner's not playing, or if he plays, it's going to be a limited fashion? Like. What's what are uh, we, where are we falling on that right now? Yeah, I mean he injured it early in the third and didn't come back. So usually that's if it, if it's a minor sprain, you tape and come back. So maybe it indicates that it's a little more severe or that he's just not willing to play through that extreme amount of pain in the beginning. So probably limited snaps. I mean, you know Benjamin, they're probably gonna use him more in the pass game. Yeah. They had Daryl Williams there too. Daryl Williams from the, too. From so. the, yeah, and he had uh what's it, I believe he had uh eight carries for 59 a touch so yeah, he did pretty play good. well when connor came back so they might maybe williams will be benjamin one of those two you, you williams are is on a lot of rosters because of connor does have injury history in the past he did have that insane year last year but we talked about on our podcast that's a regression thing there's no way he's scoring that much so i mean we didn't predict an injury but this is the kind of thing why he was going to regress so like like you said williams benjamin those are people you need to target yeah, I think the only reason i ask for like a little more like clarification on on connor's because i've been squatting on the the waiver number one waiver claim for for two weeks now you have obviously. you have I'm, I'm, it's burning a hole in my in my uh, i guess my wallet uh because it is a form of currency but i'm just trying to figure out like nobody's been worth it right like if if obviously if for whatever reason That's james connor yeah. was out for weeks i would have yeah. i definitely would have went all in on, on whoever's replacing him but we haven't had one of those moments yet i don't feel like right. around the league you're right. No, Jeff I Wilson, agree. I guess, is the biggest one, but that's but not he, even that big. Yeah. And he yeah, was on a lot of rosters, I think, to yeah. be honest, because like the Niners love to run the two running backs, you know. So, right. I don't know. Like you said, I always like to avoid waivers first two weeks because it's all overblown. You know, you like a little bit Barkley had the big week and they're like, oh, you know, they're you know, then he has like less than you know the next week. So it's like you can't think it's gonna happen every week. So yeah, you, I also you, yeah. I also really like to see what other people are dropping, right? Like that's right. No, to me, that's, that's something you're also kind of looking forward to. Like, that's where the gold is most. Yeah, often, yeah. Somebody yeah. really just cuts somebody out too soon, and and I'm trying to be there to scoop it up. You know, that's for what sure. Be. Um, I think that's that's the main injuries we're tracking this week. Um, we could talk about uh, Tyrion David Price, Davis Price didn't last one week in the Shanahan offense. That's a down with the high ankle sprain. Niner, Niners just, fans, yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, all three of us we we were forced to plant a flag last week on on, on last week's episode, and Marlon Mack looks looks like he's going to be the one catching. It's, it's the, the lead. Right, it's the right but flag, I will say, yeah. <laughs> carries wise, uh, Tyrion Davis Price, he was getting some right some there, work. Yeah, although it wasn't carries, it, was, yeah. it wasn't very efficient, but he was getting the work though. Which, they wanted, which is to, good. I think they wanted to see what they had in him. And no, the w big issue I so was telling Jacob is that maybe they saw this in a training camp is that he wasn't able to manage a full workload, and you can notice that stuff in training camp. You don't need to him to rush 15 times to see that stuff so like carlos hyde was like that too there was someone we they, the niners back and they really wanted to do 25 carries they wanted him to be like the frank gore and that didn't happen like he was in Ohio state he got injured all the time if he got 20 carries you know so there's some people that can't you know so price i remember in college he's he's good at he's good as being a 1b i don't think he's the man so like you weren't expecting him to be the man so the fact that he got hurt being the 1b is an issue right so that's why People like they got Mac, you know, you just got Coleman again. So you're you're trying to re replicate, you know, 
that running back situation that you had. Yeah, Max, one of our leftovers this week. Uh, we'll get to that a little later, but 13% owned in sleeper redraft. So hmm. definitely. Uh, and we, definitely talked about it, we talked about it last week, too. Yeah. Which yeah. Is funny. yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's you, move I on. I think people picked him up and dropped him because they saw that Davis Price was yeah. the clear favorite choice. Yeah. Well, this is, pra- I think, practice squad. Um, rules are, are not a lot of people know about them like we were doc we were talking doc about them too like the, there's you get three times move back and forth like obviously even mac going up now doesn't mean anything could get moved back down at, you know if they like coleman more you right. know it's just a, it's you get three of those so i don't know like you just gotta i just like think a veteran of that caliber being on a practice squad i think a lot of teams do have that now so you need to like see like oh like we were even talking about we're getting older so coleman seems like a crazy name to be on a practice squad but he you know where he's not as good as he used to be right so Devontae Freeman was a big practice squad guy last year, but those that's the guy he immediately got time with the Ravens. So I think those those players, when you see people like Mac and stuff, more often than not, they don't stay in the practice squad too long. Uh, speaking right. of Ravens, you can check out Dobbins' six score on the website. He's getting a little better. Um, probably will play this week. Maybe not full snaps. I mean, you don't go from not playing to 20 touches a game. So we're, uh, we're hoping he's better on the ACL. I know a lot of people draft him late and hoping he's, He's integrated in the offense more and more. Yeah, and that's that website is uh, sicscore.com, sixscore.com. Check it out. You can get more injury analysis. Obviously, it's a, it's a, it'll help you gain an edge in your fantasy league and whatever other adventures you're you're taking on uh, in the in the football world. And by that, I mean betting and DFS, which is uh, it's like the choose your own adventure, like book, you know, like <laughs> yeah, betting yeah. page six. Yeah, yeah you know, by the way, sure. move, yeah. flip around. All right, we're going to dudes and duds. Dudes. Yeah. And duds. Mm. All right. So, uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, all right. So, <laughs> we're going to do this. Uh, Jacob, you'll lead it off. We'll pick our dudes. And obviously, we're trying to, we're all still trying to figure out what our, our definitions of dudes and duds are. I think, I think we get a baseline, but eventually we're going to, we're going to sync up. But right now, I feel like we're just kind of deciding on the fly on, on what we're doing here. But, Jacob, you lead it off with your dude of the week. It's early season. We'll get it by mid-season, definitely. Yeah, we'll maybe. have the criteria down, you know. <laughs> it's constantly shifting. Uh, my dude of the week, Garrett Wilson, 14 targets, 8 catches, 102, and 2 touchdowns. My dude is just, like, a dude to me is just someone that surprises you by how he bursts on the scene, and that's rookie Garrett Wilson. I mean, Elijah Moore had a pretty decent week. Corey Davis is there for targets, but I think Garrett Wilson was a clear number one target in that game against the Browns. Big reason yeah, they came back, too. And he looks good like the eyeballs he looks really good and he has and, 22 targets in two games like it's not like he burst in the scene like statistically but they want him to do it immediately since week one like this kid was nuts at ohio state like he's he's the dude so you're, just, I get, you're telling me before you wish you went somewhere else kind of yeah like we were talking about like the chiefs had that like crazy little like um early pick and usually teams that are in like a dynasty mode don't usually have those right so if, if they went Sky Moore, obviously in the second round because they went cornerback first. But I mean, if they would have got someone like Wilson, um, Alave, yeah, wow, you know, <laughs> yeah, it'd be it'd be. I mean, it's going pretty good right now, obviously for Garrett Wilson. But how much of that is due to the fact that they're just letting Flacco throw his arm off? Like, and it doesn't is... even matter. He's doing well <laughs> at it. <laughs> no, he's doing fine. But like, obviously, there's a situation, right? When Zach Wilson comes back, it makes Zach it Wilson's harder, job, right? How does that change it? That does that that makes everything worse, right? You think they're gonna throw 50 times a game with Zach Wilson? Yeah, I mean, I guess I you're just hoping they got that yeah. Wilson connection, maybe. It's oh like, yeah, they both oh, have the same last name. So my last they name. Let me go to that, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> it's easier. That's, but that's personally, the I want I want Flacco to throw the whole season. He's been awesome for that offense. <laughs> There's no way that can last. There's no way right. that lasts. But, but I mean, right. like you said, like they like I don't think I think it's what you said though. They're not changing the system. It might even be easier for Salah and his uh, staff to game plan with Flacco because Wilson adds another dynamic with the mobile stuff, which is huge. People love that. So he adds a different dimension, but Flacco is a hundred percent more accurate than he is. You know what I mean? 20, like 26 for 44, 307 and four, 1010 rating. That's nuts. That's like, come on. Like he didn't beat out his, uh, his punter who had a 118 behind him, but <laughs> he, he's, he's a uh, second or third in passing yards. I, I don't know. Like they, they're It's going to get tough and tough. They've got the uh, bangles next, right? Uh, that's already, I'm already seeing less than 300 yards <laughs> there. So, <laughs> Um. Yeah, Justin's guy's like number one in the league in passing yards, right? Who's that? Tua. Oh, Tua. Hey, man, Tua is my dude. Him and Carson right? Wentz are like one and two. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Like the top. Yeah, like you said, right now the top quarterbacks statistically, 
It's a weird list to look at right now, week two. I mean, it's week two. Everyone overreacts week running two. Back, it's running backs is too. If you look at, like, I was yeah. reading something like the fantasy pros, like the ones that you might have missed out on your picks, like the first eight picks are all the top running backs because all the top running backs are doing so bad right now that it's saying that you missed out on your first pick. You should have got, like, uh, Justin Cooper, Cooper yeah. Cup, you know, like these guys that are, like, yeah. have 30 point games back to back weeks, you know what I mean? So it's just like, it's week two. So like all the running backs, you know, you're not getting a big game yet. We had the Barkley one, but I don't know. It's right though. Like you, um, we were going to talk about my uh, dud. I'll talk about him later, but yeah. You got, you have, you talk about your dude. Yeah. Talk about your dude uh, right now. He might be my at the dude? top. Of okay. One of those so I've been talking uh, crap at him all off season. I really <laughs> yeah, don't think you have, he, I don't really think he can throw the ball, but mm. 26 for 31 is pretty good. Um, I'm not. I don't even want to mention his rushing ability because he could throw. He could rush for 200, and I would be not expect. I'd expect that. Jalen hurts, by the way, for yeah, people yeah, yeah, who sorry, don't know yeah. Taylor's hatred. Yeah, he, just, well, he doesn't want to say his name. You say his name. Right? Say his yeah. name. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like Voldemort. Right? Oh yeah. no, don't say it. Yeah. So, <laughs> but no, Jalen hurts. 26 for 31 is very surprised, and it wasn't just like him throwing Geno Smith passes. He's throwing AJ Brown deep. They're not. They're not messing. They're not like tailoring the offense. He's to using point. Devontae Smith. Yeah, that's what that's, we're wondering. Yeah, yeah, no. First game, he didn't have any targets. Obviously, he had the six, seven targets, and he caught all. So that's really good. Um, having that elite wide receiver, it seems like that's the move that people need to do in the offseason that a lot of team, teams are scared to do. We talk about DeAndre Hopkins, Diggs, and now the A.J. Brown. If you have a, a, a guy that's ready to take a step, I don't think Hurts still is. I'm still hating. Um, mm, but, mm. like, getting a guy to help him at least look good, <laughs> I'm still hating. I can't get out of it. Um, but A.J. <laughs> Brown, is it's 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 helping. He looks really good. Um, good job with that. It's a, I think he had the first time ever that he had 80% um, completion with the rushing yards and his passing. So, like, good for him. Like That was, a, a, that was probably one of the first times I've watched and seen, like, a complete game from Jalen yeah. Hurts. And it was, like, it was complete dominant. Like, it was so yeah, good. It was. It was from start to finish. Like, the Minnesota didn't have a chance that game. And yeah. it's, it Hurts controlled that whole game. And I was very surprised in that. So, dude. Dude, dude of the week. Dude so of the week. much of a dude that Taylor should we get dude wipes? Him. We should get dude wipes. I was just thinking about that. I saw that in Barstool. We, like, we, need, dude, we need dude wipes. Yeah. Like, maybe right, maybe we have get dude, dude wipes of the week. Uh, we yeah. Can just, uh, Sponsored by. No, dude. Or just dude. goes with Justin's opening story, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So my dude of the week. We'll move on. Uh, I'm gonna go with my man Curtis Samuel. Uh, I I I know that it doesn't seem he's still kind of got that like stigma for people who had him last year, but he's this is back to back weeks now where he's produced. Week one was not a fluke. Nine targets, seven receptions, 78 yards, and a touchdown. And he's still getting. He got one carry this week, but it was 21 yards. That's pretty good. He had um, 11 targets week one, too. Like, he, like yeah. you said, it's, it's not a fl- no more fluke yeah. anymore. Well, I, I, I don't want to uh, go on, Justin. I don't no, no, go ahead. You're going to say it. No, I'm, yeah, I'm Ron Rivera, like, that's I his know. guy. Yeah. I'm, love, I'm loving that. I was talking about this. Rivera brought him over from the Panthers. Yeah. They last, like last year, I said he picked up the soft tissue mus- a muscle, muscle, muscle injury like in the middle of the offseason, preseason. So he couldn't ramp up with the team and it lingered all season. This yeah. kid's so fast. He know, they know how to utilize him. You saw how he was utilized on the Panthers. He's he's like beyond a gadget player. He knows what he needs to be doing. So, like you said, the fact of being doing two weeks in a row, yeah, sorry. Yeah, and it's and it, I know that Carson Wentz is is like you said, he's at the top of the, of the statistics for quarterbacks. How sustainable is that? How sustainable is Flacco? It kind of falls in the same category. He's more than he's, Flacco, right? Yeah. yeah, but is he going to? Are they going to? Are the Commanders going to sustain three wide receivers? Like right now, if That's you're a, a McLaurin owner, if you're a McLaurin think, owner, I don't think you're happy. No, no, he had that one touchdown, yeah, but he Dotson hasn't been and like Dotson used. and Samuel yes. eating and yeah. all that. Yeah, right. Yep. It's not um, like I think years it's because prior. their defense is they, bad. They look <laughs> just bad in general. Like I don't think they're going to be yeah. winning too many ball games. So. They're coming back a lot of games, yeah. which means they're throwing a lot. Yeah, that's why I think it is. Maybe that chase changes with Chase Young coming back from the ACL, but it's he's still not going to be 100 percent until the second half of the season. So I just don't think they're talented, even the players that are healthy right. on that Reds on that Commanders team. Excuse me. One player does make a lot of difference, especially as a pass rusher, but. He's right. you know we yeah. talked about like like getting like a Von Miller or something that changes the game for sure like like Doc was saying like on our podcast I believe he said like every sack can be like a half turnover you know right. or half possession like you're losing or something so like those are huge if you have a guy that just gets ten yards off your you know first down so so yeah Curtis Samuel I think he's somebody that now you should he's he's definitely gone up a tier and he needs to go up in in everyone's tier in their heads like right now it's easy to say you just might, you may have just scooped him up on waivers like I picked him at the I end did. of most drafts right and I'm like Me too. he's yep. he's so much better than that now and I think people need to start valuing him that way He's definitely higher than that like if he's not if he was he definitely was taken off waivers last week but right. now it's just like you like Justin you're saying he might be a person that you leave in your starting lineup now Yeah for sure. All right, let's get to the duddies. Uh, Jacob, let's uh, let's ride out. The ride duddies, out with some huh? duddies. Yeah. 
Uh, Sierra's man's is my dud. Uh, <laughs> Russell Wilson, absolute dud. First week, dud. Second week, dud. 14 of 31, 219 and touchdown and a pick against Texans. I mean, it just he's just absolutely underperformed expectations. I know you said maybe part of that's hack it. Maybe they're figuring it out on the fly, stuff like that. But I mean, also, you guys see the Twitter video of him like yelling out the run pass stuff on yeah. the sideline. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I gotta admit, like, I was like, oh, maybe that's not bad at first, but then I realized, oh, you're playing in a stadium full of sixty thousand people. Who's here and run past? And there's these are NFL players. You think they need they need that right. yelled out from the sideline like it's pee wee football? Well, the one thing on those stats too, the two nineteen. I'm like, whatever. It could be a defensive game, and you get too tiny. You, you know, Tom Brady. You see, he had one ninety. Tom Brady. I think Tom Brady and Rogers both had less than two hundred the first week. Maybe even that barely two thirty. Um, Fourteen for thirty one is a huge issue. Like there's, a, I know a lot of people that are like Scott Fish. You have the you have the accuracy leagues for quarterbacks. You get penalized for incompletions. Like you get someone like that who's always accurate to be 14 for 31. That just shows, like I was saying before, there's something wrong built. Like they didn't have the offense built. There's no way a guy that good is 14 for 31 passing the ball. There's no way. Like if he has 14 passes, it should be like 18 or 20. You shouldn't have that many incompletions. I mean, yeah, yeah, part of that's Judy going out, but there's other guys there. I mean, there's, you have Albert O, you have Cortland Sutton. He connected on everything with Sutton. Even the, so. um, Tyrese Cleveland, I saw. He was running routes, and he was there. He, it was, he was missing. It, was, it didn't look like he was understanding the offense, which is a bigger issue than just having a bad game. Or dude. <laughs> so, I, 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 so well i guess real quick are, are, yeah. are you one two stepping to get russell wilson off your team right now Is no I, like i said i think i'm burned into like him too much like i think he's gonna be good so i think i need to create this narrative that it, I, I i do think i see some the good stuff in there like you said um sutton looks like he's untouched which is a lot of the half of what i've had fantasy wise value wise so i just like i need to so, figure that offense out because it is de- it's a deeper issue than yeah, I, I'm, fighting a, let, I'm fighting it. I'm fighting it. Okay, let's get a hypothetical right now. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. You, Josh Goff's on your waivers right now. You, would, do you scoop him Jared up and pick Goff, up Jared Goff, or, or, or Josh or I keep saying Goff, Josh. He did Jared say Josh Goff. Goff before. It's weird. Dude, I keep like calling Josh. him Josh Goff. You know, Jared from Goff. According to a recording, and still said the same. I'm interested <laughs> Ridiculous. In. Uh, uh, no, Jared Goff. Like, say he's available. Are you? Would you? And you, or maybe even you. You picked him up. He's your backup. Are you going to play him? You playing him over Russell Wilson? Um, depends on the matchup. Currently, this week. Uh, this week, Vikings. Uh, no, no, over the no, Niners. Niners. I wouldn't. Niners. No, I wouldn't. Um, hmm. All right. Broncos get the Niners this week. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I would. I would still. Flacco. Win. That's what not about Flacco. Like Goff needs to be playing the the three or four worst the past defensive teams in the league to be doing that. I don't like, know. You have man. Russell Wilson. I, I, maybe... I don't care if he's like whatever. He still had two nineteen at touch and interception. There's a lot of quarterbacks that had worse games than that including like Jameis Winston I'm pretty sure Burrow had a bit worse game than that mm-hmm. so even if he had a bad game I know I'm not messing with your dud because there's another duds too <laughs> but no like Tannehill didn't have a great game like there's a lot there's of quarterbacks. No quarterback great games yeah I mean maybe a couple to a to but, a, yeah. I don't know so here here's where I'm at on golf right now I are you trying to? Is this like a more like a you're golf? Like trying to talk yeah, us into golf? I thought it was the no, other way. No, no. See, yeah. I, listen, I, you're. you're that, I'm actually kind of surprised because I think I would play golf over Wilson right now until the until you see Wilson get right. Like I don't. No, but the I don't, thing what happens with there is you're you're already admitting that you wasted draft capital. Number one, number two. Uh, who? But who? You, who I think if you hold Depends on to that, that's I feel like that's like an antiquated way to, to think about fantasy football. It's like, oh man, I I picked Wilson to if I if I bench him. I People are going to see that I benched them. But you should only be I'd... benching somebody if they're injured or you have someone better. And if you have someone better than your first or second pick, then you messed up, right? I mean, but I guess I guess that was not like that, a... Uh... You're, you're thinking super flex, though. Russell Wilson didn't go that high in any normal league. Yeah, but still, like you shouldn't be putting in golf for Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Doc, obviously, Doc's there. Special the sled, sled shot, yeah. Yeah. So no, I'm just, I, I, okay. I, we'll just, I'll say it. And You're move just gonna on. get burned I, by the eventual I mean, game where he goes off too. He's yeah. I maybe, Raw, so I get, I get the golf hype. I may be in on golf this year, as opposed right. to last year. Yeah. I, I know yeah. last year was a little more. Like, what's week, up? What's up, Doc? Scott Fishbowl. I played Evan Phillips, the Dodgers reliever. And he was scheduled to kill me, but based on some advice, <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm just joking. Ended up the final junk time catch in that Vikings Eagles game. Junk time. Feeling got nothing through the whole game. Yeah. That final junk catch not only cost me the win, it cost me the extra point, the Mendoza line. Yeah, because it was a league medium. A yeah. Oh. Two and two standing. Yep. And who did you leave on the bench? Dawson Knox. Who else? Who else? There was others. 
Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I, 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 I have select, them all. selected yeah. memory. Yeah. <laughs> what have you done? They're, they're the fantasy guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, so real quick, I, again, I'm in on Goff. I think I'm in on him this year. I, I'm willing in week two to buy in. I think he's going to be. He could. He could. He could finish QB one, and I wouldn't be surprised. Not QB one. Uh, the one, one thing I'll tell you is You're that you also need in on David Montgomery. So I'm still okay. Uh... That was a, okay. Listen, I didn't actually. I don't have any shares of David Montgomery. Yeah. Okay, that was a mock draft. I'm talking about real life right now. If I had any questions, I have Tom Brady. I was yeah. I honestly was going to I was thinking about burning the number one waiver claim because it is a six point it's a six point passing touchdown to lead right on Jared Goff, on Jared, Jared Goff on to, Jared to replace Goff. the only Tom Brady. the only person ever yeah to I'm just saying well, maybe I, I'm probably Goff. crazy I'm probably crazy now, but one, I think the Lions look different right now and their defense is so bad Goff's gonna be slinging a lot and their their offensive line's so good I I think it might be real this time so you're watching hard knock not week two or <laughs> no one I, I okay i yeah. didn't watch i didn't i barely watched any hard knocks i'm just saying i think right, i may well, be in on you yeah taylor I'm what's your saying. dad this is way too much golf yeah talk. this is a lot <laughs> i was just going to say Jared though, Goff. I, the one thing yeah the one thing i'll say you have to have saint brown on your team to make yes. me think you want golf by the way that's, stack it. that's, that's the only, the way, only way i'm trying to help you out but yeah i know you don't have them so trey lance i have trey lance in the league trey lance is gone i i i use the waiver claim on if you go to golf that's fine that's not but like you're saying you're doing other replacing Tom you're Brady. Benching, you're benching <laughs> Russell Wilson. Now it's best in the goat for Jared Goff. All right, I'll take I'll, I'll take Goff. Now. I'll take Goff over over Russell Wilson next this next week. All right, I don't know if we want to go. I go on record. I'll take Goff over That's over fine. Wilson. This All right, week. We'll, we'll update next week with Come how back. good of a pick that was. We might have a new host, huh? <laughs> that might be Uh-oh. necessary. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, Austin Eckler is my dud. Um, this is more like a two week dud thing. Um, under forty yards rushing the last two weeks. Um, this is kind of what he kind of. Kind of, kind of, kind of is what he hmm. said um, going in the season. He didn't want to rush as much. That's why they got Spiller. You know, they didn't want to. He didn't want as much utilization as normal. So I was already low on him already. Um, so that didn't help. Those two games are. It's helping me think that I'm right. Well, but um, the one thing I know people saying, oh, he had nine catches, fifty-five. There's a lot of players that had that. You know, like and DeAndre Hunt Carter had fifty-five. I know he didn't have. He had three catches, so you're six off there. But I mean, you're talking about yardage alone. He is he as good as Carter? You know what I mean, so he's not doing enough for the capital you spent on him. So, and I see this happening like it could, this could be a week, like a season long dud. Whoa. Mm. But, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything new. And I'm the way their offense is working, they're scoring fine. It's not like Chargers like not playing well. So, it's, I think he's a dud for the next couple. I That's saw it. you. I saw you put Eckler on this list, and I was actually kind of st- – I was a little startled, right? Because you, I, I see that he's getting work in the passing game, but obviously that shouldn't be the, that shouldn't be 90% of your running back's work, right? That's right. like a McKissick, yeah. right? You're, and you I know McKissick, he's so good. And, yeah, thing. McKissick, I'm not, I don't expect any rushes yeah. from him. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, no, I totally – yeah. You're, like you said, if you're drafting someone like that in the first round, a specialty guy, it's, it's – I know oh, he's yeah. very – so good at catching the ball. I know it. It's just – I think that's the argument for half PPR versus PPR because it shouldn't just be, oh, he has nine catches. He has a great week. Like, right. It should be tempered a little bit. Do your job. Like he has 14 <laughs> carries and he's not even getting 40 yards. That's yeah. not efficient at all, you know? No, for sure. Uh, all right, let me get to my dud. And it's obviously, it's another, you can see, uh, it's another stud running back that you're trying to figure out what the heck's going on. Right. Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook, uh, six carries, 17 yards, four catches for 19 yards. That's not a lot of yards, but four catches. Again, it's Should another PPR. Should we be PPR. happy with the four catches, I guess, no, as we're saying? Yeah. <laughs> it's a PPR yeah, fluffer, yeah. but like if you look at his job, which is running the ball, six carries, bad. 17 yes. yards, bad. And and obviously, it was a stinker for to the Vikings That was game script on the carries. I'll, I'll say that because yeah. they were down the entire game. But like, Dalvin Cook's good enough that even if you're down 14, you still run him on for you know a couple downs because like he's an elite running back. So no, that game right there is like that's a stinker. Or yeah, for sure. it's a, I mean yeah. it's a, it's a dud for sure. And obviously in week one he didn't he's not doing he didn't do anything crazy. He had uh, yeah. twenty carries twenty carries for ninety yards. But obviously you want to see that production. The amount of touches he got, even when you're down, right? Kirk Cousins was throwing a lot of balls to Darius Slay. Uh, I'll say that a lot. How about <laughs> hey. uh, you don't want to alleviate some of that pressure? Dump it off to to some of your running backs, whether it's Madison or or Cook. It could have could have done a, a little more than what was going on in that game. But anyway, right. Dalvin Cook a dud right now. I don't know. I don't know if I'm I'm not out on Dalvin Cook yet. It's week two or it's going week into two. week three. Not, yeah. I'm not ready to bury him yet. But I, no, I'm a I little mentioned worried. before. Remember, like I, every elite running back has pre- basically like looked like you've been bad. Like you've wrapped yeah. the wrong player. Currently, we just talked about Eckler. Yeah. So. 
All right. So yeah, we we mentioned the leftovers. We can move on to the leftovers real quick. Obviously, we talked about Marvel and Mac. Uh, Jacob, any other leftovers that are? That, I these actually, are, I actually. Oh, go yeah, on, it's Jacob. not a it's not a big week. I mean, week yeah. two, everyone relevant kind of got scooped up on the waivers. So you're looking at guys that are long term plays. So Isaiah Spiller, twenty nine point seven percent owned uh, for the Chargers pass catching back. He was limited early in training camp or late in training camp with the ankle, so didn't start the season fully ready to go. But if you're not believing in Eckler, then Spiller, they might look to use him a little more. I mean, who knows? Eckler's the workhorse in that uh, backfield. But I think Spiller's worth a little bit of a gamble. Yeah, he was somebody that I I took a flyer on at the end of drafts, and then I dropped almost immediately. And I was like, obviously, the signing of Sony Michel. Sony Michel got signed. You're like, eh, I'm going to wait on this. He could be somebody. But yeah, like you said, if you're down on on, on Eckler, maybe, maybe this is somebody that might get some more run as the season progresses. I have three people just to like get yeah. a bunch of people out real quick. Um, you're gonna love this, the tarantula hair, um, Richie James. Um, I was, I actually, someone was already jumped the boat. Um, Thomas from our 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 company league started them against me, so he's already thinking of, of this. But mm. he's you, he's being used a lot in this Giants team that literally has nobody. You had Wando Robinson already uh, left; he had a knee injury, he didn't play. Tony is just not liked. Um, Galladay <laughs> might be liked less. Because of his money, yeah. if they were paying right. Tony the same, it might be yeah, Tony. Are, but uh, I, I have a question: Are you mad if you're Galladay? Or are you just living your life, bro? Like you're in New York. It might cares. be both, but I, I just don't think Galladay likes football enough. Yeah. I think if he liked football enough, then he'd be pissed. But like right now, like you said, the contract is beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> so you're just like, you're there, like just, bro. And he, and he did he he missed half the year last year with injury, yeah. so he literally he hasn't utilized his body in like a labor way that like he's like feeling like a knee and you know what I mean. So I don't know. I'm, like I'm in two leagues where he's still rostered, and I'm praying for those people. And that's who are crazy because him, like right? how like, good he is. He's really a player that shouldn't be rostered at all. Yeah. And it's crazy how far that's fallen because him watching Stafford throw it to him was pretty fun to watch for years. Um, quick one. Another one um, I like. I don't know how many leagues. Um, Nelson Aguilar, he had a huge game. It's, I see 10% on sleeper here. Yeah. He had a huge game. Um, six targets, six catches, 100 yards. He looked good on the end he, round. He's quick. He's, so. If you look at their receivers, Devontae, obviously, I don't know what happened to him. But, no. It's it's insane to me. I he was a guy so, I was on. Yeah, I, I was, was on too. at the end of drafts. With you. Yep. And but yeah. the thing is, he's getting the playing time. Hundred yes. percent of snaps yes. week he's one. Not, he's in not. like seventy five percent. Yeah, I don't know. So the way they use it, it looks like what now I'm seeing. Myers is the intermediate. He's graded it. He got thirteen or fourteen targets, which is crazy. I'm in a, like a league that has targets, and I was looking at Myers. He had like forty points. I think it was my crazy points <laughs> league. But I was looking at it. I was like, why does Myers have forty points? But I was like, oh yeah, I made like point per target. <laughs> so it's like thirteen <laughs> points. But um, no, Myers looks like he's getting a lot of usage in general. And then Aguilar looks like he's their deep guy. And Mac Jones can throw the deep ball. He's not like, oh, I can't. You're not. You're not dealing with a Trubisky. You know, like so. Sorry, I didn't target him specifically, but mm, he, he, yeah. I just saw a graphic the other day where he's not throwing deep. So, um, Aguilar, they're going to need that streamer deep threat. That's why they drafted that uh, Thornton kid out of Baylor. He's on IR with a broken collarbone. So, Aguilar was very close to actually getting um, cut to start the year. So, because Thornton was showing up in a uh, preseason. So, but he obviously got injured. So, they need that streamer, that guy that goes through. Aguilar has been doing that well for years. I know he has. They make the joke. Remember the guy caught the baby. And he's like, oh, I got better hands than Aguilar, right? Or yeah. something like that. He's been better after that in, uh, that video. So He saw that video. For <laughs> he sure, saw yeah. that video. I mean, he's a Raider great. I saw him play. He was decent. So, <laughs> I mean, he's open. Um, and the other one we talked about is I'm looking on, on the screen right now in front of us is Eno Benjamin. I know Williams is there, but um, I think Eno Benjamin, you're basically picking which one will do good if Connor doesn't. I think Benjamin, they're going to, they know what they have in Williams. They just signed him as a one-year, you know, free agent deal. They want to see what they have in Benjamin. They've been waiting for this opportunity. So yeah, Benjamin, I think is the is is like the quintessential leftovers, right? And by the way, leftovers are people who didn't get picked up on waivers that is that are probably worth a roster roster spot and that won't cost you a waiver. Right now, you can just scoop them up probably for nothing. And I, I feel like, like you said, people might be going all in on Daryl Williams. I, I think, I think if if Benjamin's there, he he could just. It might I'm be sure the there's somebody play. at the end yeah. of your butt. It's worth a shot, right? It's yeah. worth a shot going into into week three and seeing what how that plays out. For sure. All right, we're going to jump to shootouts and droughts. Uh, these are, I think, the top four um, over under projections uh, for point totals from FanDuel Sportsbook. We're just going to run through them and see which game you're starting everyone in. Uh, Bills Dolphins fifty two and a half is the over under. Lions Vikings fifty three and a half. Rams Cardinals forty eight and a half, and Chiefs Colts fifty and a half. Hmm. I, I I I know it's the Lions, right? We just talked about Goff. 
I think Lions Vikings is the, is the biggest shootout, shootout going on right now, right? Yeah. And I, it is it is obviously the highest uh, highest point total. I I think that's actually going to live up. I think that one's going to live up more than anything. I think you start pretty much everybody that's involved in that game. I just can't wait for Bills Dolphins. I mean, Stephon Diggs against that secondary. They didn't do great against the Ravens. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of running game that were getting gashed. But also on the other side, Bills without Tre'Davious White, you got to be looking at Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle to keep doing what they did. What do you think about Tua going into that game? Obviously, he's not going to throw for six touchdowns and, and almost 500 yards. It's not going to happen. It's just the one thing, um, <laughs> especially seeing this kid do six. Um, uh, Bill's defense is hampered, but the one thing they do is they disguise and they scheme yeah. really well. It's why McDermott has been good DC and coach for years. So that's the one thing I've noticed when doing these props and betting stuff. It's not like really vanilla. Like, right, oh, uh, CB1's out. Let's go to this guy. It has been a little bit start the year. Cup killed the Bills. Uh, Diggs killed the Titans with their, you know, one and three out, one and two out. So, or one injured, two out. So, uh, it it isn't always like that. I do think the Bills are gonna, they're gonna confuse him more than normal. So, I don't, I wouldn't. I think Hill has a good game, but I don't know yeah. Tua and Waddle. I don't think it's because Ravens. That's that was just in a, they're they're trash injury wise. <laughs> so. Yeah, so I, I mean, I'm obviously going to start Tua in the league that I have Tua. I'm, I'm riding it out. I, it's, I find it almost impossible to bench him when the I feel like the game script, what we just saw, is going to apply again right here. I feel like the obviously the Bills, but I think best team in the league. Are we, are we in agreement right now? Bills, best team in the league or no? Yeah. I no, think, there's no way they're not. They, they already came in a league with the lowest Super Bowl odds like in the last 10, 15 years, and they're showing why. Like They, they didn't just beat nobody. So they just beat the Titans yeah. and Rams you know, handily. So, I mean, yeah. So two, I, I, I think it's going to get opportunities. Uh, I don't know. I, I, it's not going to play out similarly to last week, but I think second half he's going to be slinging and and maybe he makes a couple mistakes, but I think he might be passing enough and he's got enough weapons he can sneak a, a, a decent game out. Yeah, he's the better ver- version of Jameis right now. So yeah, I mean, that's what picks, you wanted. But he's yeah. slinging, boomer yeah. bust. Yeah. Uh, uh, what we'll, about Rams Cardinals? What do you guys think about that one? I, I feel like that might be the dud, right? I think that's yeah. I think that's a letdown game. Rams had a bounce back against the Falcons. Cardinals won that late uh, overtime winner against uh, an unknown team. We won't throw Taylor on the bus. You know? Yeah, Rams. Yeah, uh, Rams don't play well um, away normally. Too um, Cardinals, they're gonna play well. That forty-eight, like I said, that forty-eight number seems high. Um, it might, it probably like forty-five or something. I don't know. I think the Rams have a really good defense. Cardinals Hollywood bound against Ramsey. That's gonna yeah, be tough. that's gonna be tough. Yeah. yeah, a lot of the things it looks like they're gonna get like stifled. Every advantage each team has, like the like the um, Cardinals, like Murray runs the ball so well. Um, pr- the Rams are very good at cu- containing quarterbacks that run. So like they got Donald. They they have a good system on that. So, so we haven't know. mentioned him since since obviously his week one stinker. But right now, where you guys at on Cam Akers? Uh, obviously he did nothing in week one, right? Coming off uh, the well, I mean he played in the playoffs the year before. Yeah. But coming off the Achilles, we were we were kind of like this dude's toast, right? He was it was all hands on deck, chuck him overboard. Played forty four percent of the snaps. I oh, want to yeah, be. Yeah. I want to be optimistic about him. I mean, he. It seems like he's a little bit out of the doghouse. He got fourteen carries to Henderson's ten. I think it was. So they're trying to use him in the run game. It seems like Mc, week one was just a McVay like just slapping him and telling him to get uh, pass block even a little bit instead of running the out thing. of the way. You know? We're not. Ex- they're not expecting him to do it well. He's never done it yeah. well. It's not his game. He just needs just to do, do it, it a little bit. <laughs> a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Like Henderson's not great pass blocker either. He's decent at it. So he's a little, that's why they do it. But like Acres, you're not expecting out of it. But like you, like you said, you just got to do it a little bit. Like it looks like there's multiple times where he just looked off it entirely. And the guy just went right to Stafford. That's how wanna, your quarter, that's how your quarterback gets hurt. <laughs> I don't want to get too don't. deep into conspiracy theories here, but uh, I I don't know. I feel like Week One was an anomaly. I think this is probably what to expect from Cam Akers moving I forward. I think you're right. Yeah, but I I stand by what I heard from Adam Schefter on that one. It was a fantasy yeah, football focused podcast. He was all in on on Kyron Williams, uh, and and he was he was he had him in his starting lineup Week One. Obviously, he got uh, Ky- Kyron Williams got hurt. And I think it was like a special teams player. High or, ankle, yep. Yeah, yeah, high ankle sprain. He's out for a few weeks. There was something there. There was a package there. Maybe Kyron Williams was the, was the number two. He was going to have a big role. And and obviously he goes out, and they just were like, all right, Henderson, take take it all. I don't know. I don't know why they wouldn't have just slid Acres in and, and done something more with him. But I feel right. like Kyron Williams. I, I don't want again. I'm not going to talk about this much longer. I just I just feel like it needs we need to say it on record. Schefter knew something. 
Kyron Williams, I don't know when he comes back, if there's still a role for him there. You named, exa- right you named that, examples yeah. of what he's done in the past, right? Yeah. Ky- oh, yeah okay, so okay. this was, he went he went on record and he was like, he he found uh, Elijah Mitchell. He found, uh, oh yeah, I'm not going to say he found. You're acting it, like this he's is, Simon Cowell. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Alvin Kamara scout, you know? as well, his rookie year. The teams tell him something and say, we've got something here. Right. And we he like reacted. This guy, yeah. And the one thing he didn't leak about or talk about was, was the Rams' love for Kyron Williams. I think if that's real... He played it in his fantasy league, which is more telling he than anything. Started yeah. him week right. one. He thought telling. there was something that's happening. Yep. <laughs> so that's why. That's why I, I'm Kyron Williams. If he's somebody on your, he's a, on IR right now. He could go into your IR spot. Maybe pick him up and just hold him there and see what happens. I don't know. I hate rookies in the middle of the year, though. They, yeah. Because they, they're you're asking them to like jump a level and figure it out at the same time, and the most can't. Yeah. Right. But no, I get you. That's a dynasty done one though. Like this is oh, a guy sure. that might take the Rams' job in a couple years if Acres can't get through that Achilles recovery. Absolutely. Yeah. Hundred percent. All right. Let's run through some injury mismatches, then we'll get out of here. Um, but guys, that you should be looking to play against uh, defenses with dealing with injury issues. Um, Patriots against the Ravens. We've talked. Uh, Doc has talked about extensively on his Pro Football Doc podcast, the uh, Ravens' continued issues. Big week for the Dolphins last week. Um, with Why Martin did I bring Humphries up... And yeah. Parks Peters out, yeah. Why did I bring up Aguilar? Huh. Exactly. Hey. That's a streamer so. along with Devontae <laughs> Parker, probably Jacoby Myers. Yep. Um, Mac, Eagle, Mac Jones he, just feels gross, though, <laughs> right? I don't know. He just feels gross to me. I, I don't he's see him... He's just not as gross, no, though. Yeah. There's other he's options too, that are yeah. grosser. He's too much of a yeah. game manager. Yeah. They're, yeah. Just, they're going to run the ball too much. Yeah. Uh, Eagles going against Commanders. Commanders gave up a million yards to the Lions last week. Start all your Eagles. Mm, yeah. um, Saints against the Panthers. Saints a little banged up on offense. Um, I mean... We'll see how James Swinston does this week. The backs seem to be a little bit uh, more of a pain tolerance issue, but we'll see about that. Alvin yeah. Kamara is an interesting one, too. I've watched uh, way too many Panthers games this year, two uh, consecutive weeks. Start the Saints defense and smile. That's it. Saints defense is already really good. They're very good, yeah. This is going to be ugly. Uh, I don't know. It, it's going to be ugly, I feel like. Yeah, for, the point the total is 40 and a half over under. Mm. That's the low number already. Gross. We, it, they agree, yeah. Another game possibly to avoid. Justin's going to be at. Oh, Packers. I can't avoid it, bro. Packers I'm, I'm going to be Bucks. there. Yeah, yeah. Packers, <laughs> Packers playing the Bucks, Bucks in Tampa. I'll be it's there a great game at the to be game. at, though. You see the greats go out each yeah, other at the quarterback awesome. position, right? Yeah. I, I'd love for the Packers and Aaron Rodgers to actually beat Tom Brady for once, but we just the Bucks they just coil over, man. They're done. I think the bad thing for you is to not see a TD pass from one of them. Like, if you have one of the games, you're just like, oh, you know what? Well, that would be sad because, like, I got to see one from each. Like, come on. <laughs> you're, yeah. you're seeing two of the, you know, in one game. Like, don't 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 hold back on me. Yeah, I was mad I, we had like it's week two and we had to debate who has more fantasy value, Scotty Miller or Cole Beasley. Oh yeah, it's, it's probably it's, Beasley, which is weird. It's it definitely be. rough. <laughs> it's super rough right now for the Bucks. And obviously going into this yep. game, I don't want to get too hyped as a Packers fan to be like, man, we're gonna roll these guys. But like, their defense is really good. But Akeem Hicks out, bro. He's yeah, gone. That's, that's uh, big for their that's run. A big one. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and obviously the Packers are gonna be using their running backs. Mm-hmm. considerably uh aaron jones like a and, lot more and AJ than Dillon. that's yeah that's like i mean i don't know I, i'm trying to think of like another scenario where this has happened i'm thinking like maybe back in like the the jonathan stewart d'angelo williams days where like you had a, du- a duo of backs where they're like this is our whole team that kind of feels like that with the packers mm-hmm. right now because yeah. we don't know what's going on you're playing roulette if you're starting a packers wide receiver i know Steve we talked Smith, about though. it before they had maybe. steve smith on that team right yeah don't, oh. yeah yeah, come well, on, we, dude. Don't downgrade. That's Packers, that's a, Packers that's a, had Devontae kind of Adams one time. Yeah. Huh. Uh, not anymore, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, maybe, uh, I don't know. Like you said, if we if you find the wide receiver one for the Packers, if that stabilizes at some point, you're you're doing good. But it's well, now we no have more than like six targets. It's it's worse than ever now. Week, Sammy so. Watkins, it's like they, they did like, they tried the rookies week one and they're like, ah. And, and then, then they, they just. Sammy Watkins. And, and then, then Sammy like, Watkins. Eh. Sam Hawkins was getting it. He was working out there. He was always going to be like that one waiver I pick up, like everybody's going to get because that one week. Mm. And that wasn't even the week he normally gets. No. That was just like he got like a 50 yard catch. Like, oh, yeah. his yard looked more. Yeah. It's it's going to be weird to see how that plays out. Obviously, both these teams lacking weapons uh, in the past game. And it's right. going to be it's going to be very weird to watch. One that. by choice, one by injury. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited to check it out. And, and hopefully, obviously, I'm hoping for a Packers win, but I just want a good game, right? I just want to see. I don't want to see a, a, a three nothing defensive battle, which I don't think that's going to happen. But we'll see how it plays out. For sure. Was that it? I think that's it. We can tap dance out of here. Yeah, we expect a full report next week. You know, especially the Florida weather, any bug bites, all that oh, stuff. You know? Oh, no, it won't be a bug bite. I promise it'll be a sunburn. Is that why uh, he's tap it'll, dancing? It'll be a hundred percent a sunburn. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what to wear. I have an Aaron Jones jersey, 
It's the dark one though. It's the dark green, and that's, I'm like, do I want to uh, die? Do yeah. I want to? I don't, I don't think they're that. No, Tampa Bay's not really no, that like yeah. scary. I'd they're say. not that die hard. I don't know. No, the no, no. I'm scary, talking about by like, heat. I'm saying death by sun. Oh, no, by heat. Death by heat. Uh, I don't, I'm not worried about the fans. The fans will be fine. You're I'm dying just... already in that hot state that you're going to. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not. The not humidity is about that. horrid there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I gotta stay well hydrated and uh, and we'll obviously beer? look forward some beer. I said hydration. Uh, mm, I didn't say that. Beer. I didn't say that might be the opposite. Yes. <laughs> Bear. We need to teach you what hydration is. Yeah, that's that. yeah. Yes. We'll, we'll have to get Doc on the podcast to explain how to hydrate yourself. Uh, I don't think it's an IV of, uh, of beer. an IPA. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> IPA, uh, IV, for sure. <laughs> is that, wait, wait, wait a minute. Did we wait just a make second. a bar? Oh, Did you wait just wait invent something? TM, TM. You just went from not liking it to bringing it to the game. Wait a minute. Imagine rolling in an IV of beer. I don't think that's like, what's wrong with you? Oh, that's hardcore. He can't get up with all the IPA in him. <laughs> okay. He's good. Just uh, leave yeah. that. <laughs> all right. Let's get the heck out of here. Uh, I, we'll catch you guys next week. Obviously, you can check out more information, uh, SICscore.com, to get all the analysis, all the injuries. And, uh, again, if you're on YouTube, you can check uh, uh, out. You can watch the full show if you're listening to this uh, on iTunes or Spotify. Uh, and if you're listening to it on iTunes or Spotify, please give us a rate and review. We would appreciate that a lot. Uh, but let's get the heck out of here, guys. We'll see you guys next week. We're hoping for a... Uh, I guess I, I, I want, we want our studs to, to stud out in week three. So let's hope for that moving forward. Now I'm going to play the music and now what? Without a, without a, without a, without a Taylor joke, I don't know what to do now. I was like stuck for a second. All right. See you guys later. Yeah.